Citizens, it's that time. You're officially in the alert zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I'm the Wizard Uncle James. I would love for you to be an active citizen and you already know what to do. So, sitting here, got the went to EDC, Canon TP9 SA, Chamber 9. And I wanted to just talk about something that needed to be discussed. On the heels of my video yesterday about law enforcement and the different things that's going on in the country concerning the protection of law-abiding citizens. I mentioned the Supreme Court. We're going to have a discussion about them and why this is so important. If you really love firearms and all you do is come to YouTube or other platforms just to see guns and see people shoot them, you're missing the point. You're missing on something really important. Right now, the conservatives have a six to three majority. This is a 32 rounder. Of the candy. This is illegal in California. This is illegal in Illinois now. This is illegal in, I believe it's Oregon or Washington State now. New Mexico already going after them. New York. We got a conservative court. And we got liberal outcomes. When I tell you guys, I told you when I started this channel, I was going to show y'all how race, social issues, and politics affect the Second Amendment. I've been connecting the dots. For those of you who've been with this channel since the begin since the old channel and even since this new channel, for those of you who actually watch what we do here, you understand what I'm talking about. When I tell you, here in Iowa, the lawmakers saw which way this country was going. And rather than, hold on. Sorry about that. As I was saying, in the state of Iowa, we put our gun rights on the ballot and got them enshrined into the state constitution. So we always got states' rights to back us up. Because there's people moving around the country. I used to just single out California, but I'm not going to just keep singling California out. There's people from all over this country moving around. A lot of people are fleeing the very policies that they're taking with them. That's why there's this saying about don't California my Texas because all the people who fled California and wanted to bring them same ideas that they fleeing from with them. Back to what I was saying when I said yesterday about don't tell me about liberals and conservatives because they both agree on the same thing. We got a conservative court that allowed these fucking illegal laws to be passed in these different states and they don't step in the criminals have this but the law abiding citizens can't handle what's illegal about this it's paid for you pay taxes on it what, 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 what's the big issue we as American citizens have let our differences have us duped We, the law-abiding, legally owned gun owners, have not paid attention. We've missed the boat because we want to talk about the Second Amendment, but there are certain things we don't want to hear. We don't want to hear the full truth. We want to hear a partial truth. Don't you think for one second that you can trust the Supreme Court because they got a majority and look at what they still allow in the stand. California, New York, 
we should have in this country, just like your driver's license is accepted in all 50 states, our carry permit should be accepted in all 50 states as law-abiding citizens, and we can't even get that. I live in Iowa, Illinois, and Minnesota don't recognize my carry permit. California don't recognize carry permits from no states. Where's the reciprocity at? I can go anywhere in the country, but I can't carry anywhere in the country? And I'm a law-abiding citizen? When I tell you guys and girls, this is the stuff we need to be talking about with firearms, universal carry. For those of you who don't travel and think, well, I just live in a state where we don't have to worry about that. You never know when you're going to have to leave your state. You never know when you might decide to travel for something or you may be forced to leave because of a natural disaster. And you take this with you into a state where it's illegal to have. This part is illegal. Or you got an 18-round magazine that's illegal. Then you're going to start thinking about it. Or you take a firearm that's 10 rounds or less, but you go to a state like California where they don't recognize your permit, so you can't carry. Or you go to New York, you can't carry because they don't recognize your permit. This is why this stuff is so important, and we need to talk about it. We need to push for mandatory across the country. We need to push for a universal carry law where all law-abiding citizens should be allowed to legally carry our firearms without worrying about we cross state lines into another state, but we still in the same country and we law-abiding citizens. They'll acknowledge my driver's license, but they won't acknowledge my carry permit, so I may go to jail. I might lose my gun privileges just trying to protect myself. We need first, first, at least that much. Where it's mandatory, all 50 states should be able to accept your permit. Then we can work on making this legal everywhere, making this legal everywhere. At least, hold on. This big ugly, you guys already seen my Ruger SR45. It's a 10 round mag, 10 rounds. I feel just as safe with these 10 rounds as I do with these 18 or these 32. At least, at least the bare minimum Let's get it where we can at least carry this everywhere we go. We can at least have 10 rounds with us everywhere we go. Let's start there and then work our ways up. But this thing about you can accept my driver's license, but you can't accept my carry permit. We got to get that out of here. We got to get that out of here. And if you live in a state where... You guys haven't got it in y'all const state's constitution about firearms. You need to work on it. To get rid of these stupid bands that they got out here. But as I said, I just wanted to let everybody know. To don't tell me nothing about no Democrats being anti-gun. Because you know what? The conservatives showed the same thing. I mean, guess what? All these red states... They're not jumping up and down and going upside the Supreme Court head for siding with these blue states. All they say is, well, that's them, that ain't us. You see how everybody talking about sending people to the border in Texas to help them keep the border secure because of solidarity? Let's show solidarity in all 50 states and get a universal carry law passed where my permit can be accepted everywhere I go as a law-abiding citizen. Once again, we got con conservative majority in the Supreme Court and they're allowing for gun rights to be stripped across the country and ain't saying nothing. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Until next time, stay safe, stay armed.
Stay on high, high alert.